sitting here with the prince of rock and roll, Mr. Andy Gibb. Hiya, Andy. How are you? Don't Hello. Me kiss. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, my. It's certainly, listen, let me take this fur off. That may be a little warm, darling. <laughs> oh, you it like this fur? You. I think it becomes you. It's oh, beautiful. It's, it's, this is a Canadian rat. Terminal <laughs> Canadian rat. <laughs> Everything gives a cancer now, doesn't it? I mean, every time a rat dies in a laboratory, we lose something good to eat. <laughs> Now, let's get right down to it, darling. All right. uh, the first question I like to ask anyone, especially in show business, well, anywhere, if I'm going to have a date with them or whatever, are you rich? <laughs> well, I'll tell you. Yes? I'm well off. Well off. Oh, that's the way I like it. Rich and likes to get well off. <laughs> God, you are gorgeous, honey. Tell me, with a face like that, are you going to be in the movies? Well, I can ask you the same thing. Oh, well, I think it's over for me. I tried out for a lot of things, but uh, Jean Harlow got all my parts. Of course, she had the best parts to begin with. <laughs> but, of course, I never wanted boobies. It'd just be two more things I'd have to worry about. <laughs> now, listen, let's get serious. Okay. Sure. I want to know what it's like to reach stardom and puberty at the same time. <laughs> well... Well, I mean, like, you know, what's it like to make it before you can make it? <laughs> what is it like, darling? You did do it well, at an early age. Oh, I did. I still do. Um, I mean... <laughs> excuse Are me, Are you bleeping that? <laughs> I read your bio, and, uh... So you were born in England? Right. Moved born to Australia very early. Right, and then I back to England, and back to, and to Spain too. Into Spain, right? But I want to talk about. Then you moved over to a British Isle, the Isle of Man. The Isle of Man. Yes. I never heard of that. Is it uh, very large? It's about thirty miles by fifteen. Mm. And all my brothers were born on the Isle of Man. Long and narrow, just Long like and I narrow. like my man. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's very very nice to have uh, started my career and being successful at an early age. But of course, I'm getting older. You know, I'm twenty two now. So, well, you're growing up, and you want. A lot of ladies like yourself. Older. <laughs> a lady like yourself in my own. I fully understand that, Andy. You don't have to explain that to me. Why I date a kid 24. Maud told me the other night, my friend, she says, Madam, you should be ashamed of yourself dating that young kid. It could be, you know, fatal. I said, what the hell, Maud? If he <laughs> dies, he dies. <laughs> Listen, now, what kind of women do you chase after, or do they chase after you? Um, I don't really chase that often. I, I'm really very reclusive. I don't go out that often. I stay in my house a lot. But when I do, I, I go for girls that uh, are quiet and sincere and go for the real me, not Andy Gibb the name, Andy Gibb the person. I know. <laughs> well, is there a difference between the girls in Australia and the girls in the United States? They're both very beautiful in mm. both countries. Australia I've heard that the girls world. in Australia feel good all under. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> you get all the good lines. Oh, my. You know, in, in Vegas, I do a lot of Vegas. And I know in Tom Jones' act, the girls throw their panties to him uh, when he's on stage. Mm -hmm. um, what do they throw at you? Training bras? <laughs> <laughs> no, they throw um, money, would you believe it? <laughs> really? Yes. Now, where do you live and... Uh, do you live alone? Well, yes, I live alone with two other guys. And how do you get there? Where? <laughs> to my house? Yes. Well, I live in Malibu, Malibu Beach. Malibu. Malibu, yes. I thought about living on the beach. I have a good friend that did, did this dress. Really? He was found hard and sequined at Malibu, yes. <laughs> well, have you gone Hollywood since you've been here? Have I gone Hollywood? Mm -hmm. Oh, many times. <laughs> Well, what sort of relationship do you have with your brothers? Uh, we're all very, very close. And uh, we, like, we don't really like to be, uh, spend any, too much time apart, away from each other or apart from each other. So very frequently I go back to Florida and see them. Well, does Barry help you uh, or does he keep all the good stuff for himself? No. <laughs> he helps me. He uh, writes a lot of my songs, has written a lot of my hits and produces all of my records. What's this I hear about you and Olivia Newton-John or whatever? What do you hear? Is it good? Well, uh, you like older women, don't you? <laughs> well, women lose you. I'm no offense. <laughs> well, uh, what do you say to Stigwood in the hall? 
What did I say to see him? Robert Stigwood. I know he handles, you know, your career. Right. Well, I didn't see him in the hall. And uh, I know your brothers are having a little trouble. But in Hollywood, <laughs> you're nobody till somebody sues you. <laughs> Listen, darling, it's been wonderful talking to you. Give it's me a big wonderful. kiss. I know you're busy and you got to go. Thank you yeah. very much. Thank you very much. And thank you, America. Thank, thank you. you. Come on, let's go.